He's cute, he's cuddly, he's clever, he's Kermit, and I met up with him a couple of weeks ago when he was visiting Britain. Kermit, this is a real pleasure for me to talk to you today. I, I, I grew up watching you in Sesame Street in the States, and I wonder if you could fulfill a dream of mine, if you could oh. sing the ABC song with me. Sure, oh, yeah. I'd be happy to. Great, okay. All right, you start. All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with a frog? With a frog, oh yeah. <laughs> I've done it, I've sung with the frog. Sure. Now, Kermit, you've had an unbelievable sort of career so far, and I mean, I'm sure many, many more things to come, hmm. but what's it like working with Miss Piggy? Well, it's, 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 it's a privilege and sometimes even a pleasure uh, <laughs> to work with a star of her magnitude and self-importance. Uh, and we will continue to work together in the future uh, uh, whether I want to or not. But, John, yeah. I have to tell you, okay. there is nothing, nothing romantic between us at all. You got that on Electric Circus. Nothing romantic between Kermie and Miss Piggy. That's right. Now, she will tell you otherwise. Okay. Right Kermie, tell us a little bit about appearing with Michael Caine in A Muppet Christmas Carol, where you played the character of Bob Cratchit. Bob Cratchit, that's right. right. And he, he, of course, played Ebenezer Scrooge. Uh -huh. uh, oh, Michael is one of the greatest actors in the world. He's very tall uh, next to me. So here you are. Uh, m m Mr. Scrooge, uh... You, sir, were not at work this morning, as we had discussed. Uh, but, but, Mr. Scrooge, sir, we did discuss it. It's Christmas Day. You gave me the day off. I? I, Ebenezer Scrooge? <laughs> Would I do a thing like that? No. Uh, I mean, yes, but, but you did. Bob Cratchit, I've had my fill of this. <laughs> and I have had my fill of you, Emily, Mr. Scrooge! Emily, Mr. And Scrooge. therefore, Bob Cratchit. Uh, and therefore, you can leave this house at once! And therefore, I'm about to raise your salary. Oh, and I am about to raise you right off the pavement and onto the... Pardon? Did you get any good acting tips from Michael? Well, one of the, you know, I did, I did. If you if you watch Michael Caine in the movies, uh -huh. you will notice, folks, that Michael Caine never, ever blinks. And you will notice, that's one of his secrets, and you will notice that throughout this interview, I will not blink at all. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Now, that video comes out, the Muppet Christmas Carol comes out next week, along with A Muppet Family Christmas. Do you oh, have yeah. any sort of fun stories you can tell us about the filming of that? Oh, you know, it was a lot of fun to do that show because it's one of the few times when all the various Muppets got together, Big Bird and Ernie and Bert and the Fraggles. Oh, sweet oh. Okay, singer actor, educational, you know, person, I guess you can call yourself. Well, for... You have no plans to go back to your lily pad and retire, do you? Uh, oh, no, of course not. No, us frogs really never retire. Uh, but I, I do go back to the swamp whenever I get a chance, uh, you know, just to visit with my family. I have about uh, 4,000 brothers and sisters back there. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a frog thing. Oh, it's, it's just a, frog a, a thing. biology thing, sure. Kermit, listen, thank you very, very much. This has oh. been a great pleasure for me. And oh, it's, for it's, me, too. It's really been brilliant. Can I just shake your hand and you say bet. thank you? you thank bet. you very, very much. By the way, uh, John, yeah. do you have any idea who these people are? I couldn't tell you. I thought that was a frog thing. No, nope, nothing to do with me. <laughs> It looks like Mr. Bean is all set to take Hollywood by storm. Rowan Atkinson is due to star in a full-length silent movie written by Richard Curtis of Four Weddings and a Funeral fame. <laughs> they don't know what they're in for. News just in. Miss Piggy's autobiography is due out next week, titled I Kissed the Frog. It can only be about one guy. Oh, that's absolutely untrue. There is no truth to the rumor about me and Miss Piggy whatsoever. Sheesh. Well, that's all, folks. I'll be back with Electric Circus in a couple of weeks, so see you.